In this video, I'll show you how to run Stable Diffusion for totally free, with no need for a high-end GPUs or knowledge of GitHub or Python. This is all done in your browser and I'll jump right in and show you how. For those wondering what Stable Diffusion is, it's a way of creating art or unique images simply by typing words called prompts into a box and letting the latest technology create the image for you. No need to be an artist or even have a good imagination as the software will do it all for you. All you need is a free Google account as this is all done via a platform called Google Colab which needs an account to sign into. But don't worry this won't steal anything personal or even have access to anything of yours. It's purely needed to keep temporary files that Stable Diffusion requires to run. I have linked this page in the video description, so let me show you how to use this. You want to go up to this part and click connect. This will connect to a free Google GPU for you to use. Once connected you will see a green tick and the words RAM and underneath that it says disk you may sometimes get a box pop up asking you if you are sure you wish to connect or asking you to verify the next thing you need to do is head up to runtime and click change runtime type make sure gpu is selected and choose your gpu class i'm going to select premium as i have a paid google collab account but you will not require this selecting standard also works fine just a little slower but still fine then click submit next you'll need to scroll down to the first script which says nvidia.sml and click the little arrow next to it by hovering over it. A window may appear asking you to confirm if you wish to run a script not made by Google. Click run anyway. This may take some time depending on how fast the GPU is that Google has allocated you. I'm on premium so mine may be a little faster but just wait until you see a green tick. Once that is done scroll down again to the render images section. This video is only going to show you how to generate images so this isn't going to look deeper into every option and technique but it will get you up and running as quick as possible and creating your art. So now let's create our first new piece of artwork. We're going to leave this on all of the default options as they will be fine for what I'm showing you. But once you get used to using this, you can play around with the settings for different results. Next, you'll want to scroll down to mode prompt settings and delete the prompt that is already written there and enter a new prompt that will help guide the AI into creating your artwork. I'm going to try an older woman as a princess in a futuristic cyberpunk world. Full frame, intricate, HQ, 8K, Studio Ghibli, fine details. Next, we're going to change steps, which is how long you want the AI to spend creating the image. The more steps, the better the quality and result, but it takes longer. I'm going to try 150 for mine. You can leave everything else on default until you scroll down to advanced settings. Don't panic, these may be advanced, but they are easy to understand. I'm going to increase the limiters to 5. This means number of iterations which in basic terms means how many images you want the AI to create using the same prompt. You can go up to 100, but we'll do 5 for this test. And for final thing, I'm going to untick the use drive for pics. This is purely optional, but this means that a copy of all images created won't be saved to a folder called AI Pics on the Google Drive. But if you'd prefer to have a copy backed up of everything you create, you may leave this sticked. As you can also see, this version also has NSFW content, which means usually banned stable diffusion options like nudity and adult content enabled. But please use this responsibly and not for any illegal activity. Next, we're going to scroll up a little and click the arrow button to run our command and see what the software creates. I may fast forward the video a little so it doesn't become too long, but once done you'll see a green tick and you will be able to view your results. This may take a little while if it's your first time running the software, but be patient, and once it's done once, the next prompts will be much quicker. If you're enjoying the video so far, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, as all these things really help out my channel and will allow me to bring you more like this. Thank you. Okay, so as you can see, the software is already starting to pump out results, and the first one is looking really good. The second and third aren't great, as the face detail never really worked, and one was cut off. However, the fourth is very cool, looks like a really cool tech-savvy grandmother. And finally, the fifth, it created a futuristic mask the lady was wearing, which I would never have thought of myself. That is really all there is to it. However, I want to show you one last thing about stable diffusion, is that it allows for the use of well-known famous faces in your work, unlike Midjourney and Dali, which often block them. 
I'm going to paste in a prompt I created earlier and show you the results. I will use the famous actress Jennifer Aniston as an example to show you what can be created. How awesome is the likeness of Jennifer Aniston? You can already imagine funny memes and artwork you could create using famous known people and also characters from video games, cartoons, and more. Finally, one of the easiest ways to find prompts like the one I just pasted in for Jennifer Aniston is to use a website called Lexicart. A link is in the description. It's totally free and allows you to browse or search for prompts to use or edit to create something new. So check it out and start your AI journey. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon for another tutorial.